Good morning. I'm Derek, and I'd like to talk about uh, my fan game and do some dry brushing. And I think, I think that I have everything prepared well. Just getting some uh, some water ready. And I just posted earlier today. Let's zoom out a little bit. I just posted a little bit earlier today uh, about fan game, or posted a video of just um, just simulating the galaxy right now. Uh, better check my notes. Let's see. Better my seeing on the implements and then check my notes. Dry brush base, vid, holy, oh yeah. In the video, we start with Holy Terra. And Terra is surrounded by a uh, uh, some spheres. And there's a 30 light years, 300 light years, 3,000 light years, just to give a sense of range. Because the game, the sim at the moment, is just a sim, encompasses the, the galaxy. And good reminder to put in some fill lights and maybe a Steve light. Uh, that's that's like a fill light, but you don't want to lend them your car. Added um, ability to rotate the map some. So that you can see that it's it's actually a three space. It's sort of a three space because the galaxy is very, very thin. It's like uh, uh, at its thickest, at the galaxy's thickest at its center, it's uh, only about as thick as it's 10% wide, something like that. And I made notes also for him, so I don't remember, don't forget, I gave him a name, Friedrich Luther. Uh, he needs a green dry brush, did that. I have not done anything on his loot sack, which is still... Didn't want to do anything on his loot sack, but it's a good time for it because it just needs some yellow. And I've got some cadmium yellow right here. And doing his loot sack shouldn't shouldn't really affect his doing the ash dry brush on his base. I should have used a totally different brush. Because uh, you know, I had a, I had a plan, and I've gone completely off the handle. So um, there goes the plan. So what do we see in the video game map? We see um, our home sector, and uh, uh, you know there won't always be a home sector. You have a home sector if you have um, a protect mission that you have to protect this sector. I'm, uh, I'm going to give the player a, a home sector, a fleet, a flagship. I'm going to give him a flagship. And a fortress. And all these things. And uh, it could be in random places on the map. I will... Um, but it's it'll, 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 it'll they'll have a headquarters. If the headquarters is a character, if the headquarters is, I guess I should go ahead and make the headquarters something. It seems like it should be a character. But uh, you know, it, really, I need to stop thinking headquarters because it's it's a hand, like in solitaire, or any card game, or a deck of or whatever collectible card game you wanna you wanna mention. It's a hand. The fortress is a hand. The the flagship is a hand. 
and like any hand in a card game, it, it, it can hold cards. So, um, yeah, loot bags looking a lot better there. Still kind of tempted to uh, add some, you know, some red stains to the loot bag, but let's take our uh, our, our friendly green brush. I like to get a couple different brushes, several different brushes from several different brands, mainly so that um, I can tell them apart easily. Easily. So we got our. I think it's a nice looking map. I've, I'm working on it. I got some really good feedback. And dry brushing on the map. We can see a bunch of green squares, and th these are the best I can do at the moment for the orc was. The galaxy is scattered with them, and the goal is I'm, I'm, I want to make it look like it does in the orc codex. Maybe I'll just put my notes there in case I miss anything. Uh, let's see, at the one, 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 one minute eleven mark. We transition from like the overhead galaxy view. Oh, that might be a perfect amount. Ah, I like to make sound effects while I'm uh, brushing. And just putting on a little bit of this warm gray I've got. And that's the fun part is, you know, you spend days. Excuse me. You spend days <laughs> painting on these guys. And then my favorite tactic is to go ahead and just cover everything in the dry brush. So these are my dark crusaders and they all have this kind of debris strewn ash waste battlefield landscape and i never really did anything with those bricks um i really thought that that that, that first base coat really really worked well with them and you know they look very bricky so and we have um one world one test world i'm in court i'm uh Porting over what I think is a kind of a nice planet system from uh, back in November, uh, mostly for a game pitch for space commodity trading game. Uh, but you know, I don't know how to code a space commodity trading game, and I didn't get really a lot of hits on that. Oh, and I promised I was going to tell a bungee story. So, bungee story. My boss at Microsoft Games uh, called me into his office, which was either hit or miss, because I don't know if I told you about the three terabytes denial of service attack on NASA, but it's always been hit or miss. So he calls me into his office. Beautiful, awesome, awesome guy. Privileged to work for him. And uh, says, how'd you like to work on Halo? And I said, I would give my left testicle to work on Halo. And I think that upset him a bit, but, you know, I, I used to have these weird ways of talking. I uh, changed that a bit over football. I would give my left testicle to work on Halo. So, um, apparently I had to go through a whole interview. Thing was like, all right, I just thought you just asked me, you know, it was a done deal. But no, you know, because just of the way everything's set up over there at that time. Oh, I meant, I meant to... Give him a bit of yellow too, but we we can add the yellow in a little bit later. Just and just some happy dust. What well, ultimately we want the bottom of his feet to be the exact same color as the landscape. So I don't know if that's a good idea or not. It's, it's what I went with. So yeah, bungee. So boss asked me if I. Uh, would I, how would I like to work on Halo? And Halo is already 
kind of a joke at Microsoft, a really big deal uh, because there had been five, six years of hype on it, but nobody's seen anything, right? So it was like, yeah, yeah, I mean, if nothing else, you know, I'd want to see it. I'd be, I'd be one of the few people to see what it looks like, how it plays. So I got in there to interview, and uh, it was awesome. I, I walk in, and there's Bernie. Uh, and Bernie and I both started at Leaping Lizard Software in Gaithersburg, I guess Maryland, near Washington, D.C. I lived in D.C. And let me tell you, that was fun. Because I'm living in D.C. And I'm working in Maryland, which means uh, if you hear about traffic on the Beltway, traffic's only bad in one direction. In the morning heading into the city and in the evening leaving the city and I had the exact opposite commute so here I am I'm the only car on the freeway you know heading out of the city in the morning uh, just kind of enjoying it and there's like you know miles of backup um, so there's Bernie as soon as I go into uh, you know the bungee uh, it was, it was more than an office. It was more like a suite of offices. It was like part of a part of a floor. So I go into the bungee suite, and um, a lot of people are discombobulated because I'm wearing a Superman T-shirt, um, blue jeans, might have been black jeans. You know, nice. Uh, you know, nice sports jacket, also black, and used to wear a red pin on the lapel. Uh, but they hired me. They uh, they called me Superman. Uh, my uh, uh, Xbox Live name for a few months. Uh, yeah. uh, my online gaming name for a while was the Black Superman. Unless I was playing my favorite game, favorite multiplayer game at the time, and then I was Thick Quan Duck. But yes, so I highly recommend... Wearing a Superman t-shirt to your job interview because, you know, a lot of people are Superman fans. And you know what? Uh, if your boss is a Superman fan, it's a really good idea. You know, if he's a Lex Luthor, maybe you don't want to work with him. All right, so, you know, you spend, back to the model, you spend days working on the model, making it, try to be as crisp and clean as possible. And then you then you go with the dry brush and you go, oh, yeah, dirty, yeah, dust. Uh, it's happy dust. So we're just trying to mimic with our brush. And we have almost no pigment on it now, you know. But we put a little pigment on almost, almost not so much that you can see. And then we can just bring out that eagle bring out it don't, don't notice this is a scout arm it's okay you know they're on a breathable atmosphere he lost but so you know he just tore it off it doesn't matter maybe I'll maybe I'll do something with that other vultures have turned out better than his uh, and, and and there's nothing to see on the back the back's pretty pathetic but he is almost done we're almost at 15 minutes I've talked about most of the game. I forgot to mention that this is a Space Hulk. Space Hulks are beautiful. Now imagine you have boarding torpedoes and you have a teleporter. And you can imagine like, uh, okay, I got the teleporter and, you know, I've got some control so I can set the distance. And But, you know, you're moving. You're moving. And you want to get to a specific section of the Space Hulk. And I'm doing a lot of experiments right now with um, taking the Space Hulk, trying to make it a procedurally generated dungeon. That, that's basically what he is. He, he turned out okay. He needs a name. Friedrich. Friedrich Luther. Because he's, he's got a loot back. So a few things in the game generate 
Space Hulks, uh, the Orcs, and uh, Warp Storms. And they're very simple, but a Space Hulk is made out of basically just a bunch of random jumbled areas uh, uh, conglomerated together through a few random, generally gener uh, randomly generated dungeons, you know, based on an, an easy entrance. But, uh, like each area, each area could be like, uh, you know, it's, they're at least a, a city block. They could be much bigger and they could be crushed together. And, uh, you know what? I, I should just do a video on, on that be, and then it'd be a lot easier. But I hope I explained well enough how, what's happening with the game map and simulating the 40k universe. Oh yes, at uh, 2:22 we 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 see a, some nice stuff with the warp. All right, thanks thanks everybody for listening.